Infective endocarditis is infection of the heart valves or endocardium. This may be due to an underlying structural abnormality of the heart valve, for example a bicuspid aortic valve or rheumatic valve, or it can occur in normal valves. Subacute bacterial endocarditis occurs on structurally abnormal valves. It is caused by low virulence commensals. There is a gradual valve destruction, thrombus forms, resulting in systemic embolization and low-grade inflammation through cytokine production. The aortic valve here shows a vegetation that is caused by subacute bacterial endocarditis. The clinical effects of SBE are caused by small emboli causing infarcts in the brain, kidneys and spleen, splinter hemorrhages in the nail beds, microhemorrhages in the retina and skin due to infarcts by embolized immune complexes, valve incompetence due to destruction of cusps, this results in cardiac failure, and systemically there may be fever, weight loss, malaise, anemia, splenomegaly, all due to cytokine generation. Here we can see a rather flea-bitten kidney. This is due to the microinfarcts caused by SBE. Acute bacterial endocarditis occurs on normal heart valves. The organisms are virulent, such as Staph aureus. The bacteria proliferate on the valves, causing necrosis, thrombus, perforation and destruction of the valve leaflets. This causes acute cardiac failure and it is rapidly progressive and often fatal. And here we see the vegetations of acute bacterial endocarditis affecting the mitral valve. The vegetations on the leaflets of this aortic valve are caused by acute bacterial endocarditis. The valve leaflet of this aortic valve has been perforated by acute bacterial endocarditis. Diagnosis of endocarditis may be through clinical suspicion, a raised ESR, raised white cell count, normochromic normocytic anemia, blood culture and echocardiogram.